For existing jobs that have estimated revenue associated with them, you can enter a change order to change the estimated revenue and or expense amounts. They can also change the projected end date of a job. Note, however, that change orders can only be created for jobs that contain estimated revenue amounts. Change orders help you keep track of changes to the estimated amounts for a job. When you change a job estimate, the estimates on the job record are changed. The change order must be approved before the job estimates can be updated. To create a change order, you can select Maintain, then Job Costs, and then Change Orders from the menu bar to open the Change Orders window. Alternately, you can simply click the Enter a Change Order hyperlink that appears within the Maintain Jobs window on the Estimated Expenses and Revenues tab when you have a job with estimated revenues selected in order to open this same window. In the Change Orders window, you select the Job ID of the job from the Job ID dropdown. Then enter the Change Order number you want to assign to the Change Order into the Change Order Number field. Select the Change Order Date from the Change Order Date field's calendar selector. Enter any notes about the Change Order into the Change Notes field. If you need to change the projected end date of the job, check the Change in Schedule checkbox. Then use the New Projected End Date Fields Calendar Selector to choose the new projected end date. In the Change Amounts section, you can then enter the changes to the existing estimated units, expenses, and revenues for the job, phases, and or cost codes that you have assigned to the job. To view the existing estimates, you can click the View Current Estimates for Job hyperlink in the upper right section of the window. Note that the amounts that are entered into the Change Amounts section of the Change Order window are not the new amounts, but rather the amount of change to apply to the existing amounts. For example, if revenue for a phase was decreasing by $100, you would select the name of the phase from the Phase drop-down listed and then select its cost code from the Cost Code drop-down if needed. You would then enter the Change Description into the Change Description field and enter negative 100 into the Change to Estimated Revenues column within the same row. Now after the change order has been created, you can then click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save it. A message box will then appear to let you know that after you save a change order, you will no longer be able to make changes to estimated amounts within the job record itself. You must click Yes in order to save the change order. You can print the change order by simply clicking the Print button that appears in the toolbar as well. After the customer has approved the change order, you can open the existing change order that you created for the job and then click the Approved check mark in the Approved section at the bottom of the Change Order window to place a check into the check box. Then select the date that the Change Order was approved from the Approved Date Fields Calendar Selector. Then enter the name of the person who approved the Change Order into the Approved By field. If the change order has been manually applied to an existing transaction such as a proposal or invoice, you can check the Applied to Transaction checkbox. Note that this will not actually change any values in the related transaction. You must manually change the values in related transactions if needed. This checkbox simply helps you to note whether or not these changes have been made. To then update the estimated job amounts in the related job record, click the Update Job Estimates button within the Approved section. You must then click the Yes button in the message box that appears and tells you that change orders that have been used to update job estimates can no longer be edited or deleted. After you click the Yes button, note that the red text that said Not Updated to Job Estimates at the top of the screen should change to display Updates Applied to Job Estimates when you open the change order in the future.
The amounts shown on the Estimated Expenses and Revenues tab in the Maintain Jobs window for the associated job should also have updated to reflect the change order.